Hearing tests require special equipment. Today I want to talk about how we can make this process easier. I will first talk about my two hypotheses, give you some definition, walk you through my study design and share my results with you. So the first hypothesis is to check if our developed software is working correctly or not and second hypothesis is to check if an AI power test can produce similar outcome to the benchmark test. The first definition is text-to-speech or TTS. It's a technology for converting text to acoustic speech. The next one is automatic speech recognition or ASR. It's an opposite of the TTS and can convert acoustic speech to the written text. Speech in noise is a type of hearing test that plays in stimuli against background noise and check if the patient can hear it or not. And based on the response, it they will uh, alter the level of noise or stimuli. The goal of this test is to find the lowest signal to level ratio in which the patient can report the stimuli correctly. Digital noise test is a type of uh, speech and noise test that use digits as a stimuli and the patients have to repeat the numbers correctly in the same order that was presented to them. Final definitions are validity and reliability. Validity shows how close the results are to the benchmark and reliability shows how close the results of the two runs of the same test are to each other. For example, on this plot, we have on the left a valid data in the middle, a data that is reliable but it's not valid and a data that is neither reliable nor valid. We have three tests in our study. The first is the benchmark test, which is an independently developed digital noise test, a keyboard based test that is used to check the functionality of our developed software, and then AI power test, which use TTS and ASR. Uh, the benchmark test use pre-recorded stimuli when played to the patient. The patient has to use a mouse to select the presented number on the computer. Keyboard based tests also use pre recorded stimuli and play digits to the patient, and the patient has to type the number they heard. The AI power test uses TTS and ASR. In this test, a random digit is generated and TTS is used to synthesize this number. The patient will listen to the presented number and repeat it aloud. Then, ASR is used to transcribed what the patient repeats and this transcription is then compared to the original data to see if the patient repeated the correct number or not. Uh, to test our hypothesis we recruited 31 people, 21 of them were normal hearing with PTA average of less than 20 dB and 10 of them were hearing impaired with average PTA of 21 to 55 dB HL. The session started with us giving some instruction and they, sign, they signing forms. Then we did a PTA to determine whether the participant was normal hearing or hearing impaired. Then we asked them to do one run of the AI power test and one run of the benchmark test, then another run of the AI power test. This test is done multiple times so we can measure its reliability. Then we asked the participant to do the keyboard based test. This is not the main focus of our study and we are not measuring its reliability so it's only done once. After that they do another run of the benchmark test so that we can measure the reliability of this test and compare it with the reliability of our own test and finally they will do one last run of the AI power test. So as I mentioned previously we are doing some tests more than once and we have to decide which one we want to use for our comparison. For the benchmark test, we are using the first run. For the keyboard based test, we have only one option and we are using that one. For the AI power test, when measuring the validity, we take the run with the lowest ASR error. Uh, the ASR error means when the participants repeated the correct number, but ASR made a mistake and transcribed incorrectly so that the system think the patient didn't hear the number correctly. For example, in this table we have two participants. For the first participant, the lowest ASR error is in the second run. For the second participant, it's on the first run. So we are taking these two runs for these two persons. 
For reliability, we are taking the first and second run. We had some people with very strong accents, and for those people, the ASR didn't perform well. So we decided to remove the participant which had an ASR error of more than 40%. After applying this filter, we removed 2% when measuring the validity and 7% when measuring the reliability. For comparison, we are using blood Altman plots. In this plot, the x-axis showed the mean of the two measurements, the y-axis showed the difference of the two measurements, and the black line in the middle showed the uh, average difference. The pink line showed a spread of the data and is uh, shown as a limit of agreement at the top of the table. The higher this number means there is less agreement between the two models and if it's close to, zero, to the zero it means the two models have a very high agreement. On the left we have our gold standard which is the uh, difference between the two runs of the benchmark test. On the right, we are comparing the keyword based test with the benchmark test. Uh, we can see that they have both uh, mean close to the zero, but our plot on the right have a higher limit of agreement. This increasing the number is expected because on the left we are comparing two identical methods, but on the right we are uh, comparing two different methods with different configurations. For our second hypothesis, we take the plot from the previous slide, which is the comparison between benchmark test and the keyboard based test, and compare it with the benchmark test with the AI power test. The difference between these two methods are that one doesn't use AI, one use AI, so we can see the effect of adding AI. You can see that again, the average is close to zero, and actually the AI power test had a limit of agreements a uh, lot lower than the benchmark be, lower than the keyboard based test this can be because uh, when people are speaking and not typing they don't make mistakes and they are less distracted uh, for the reliability of the test we compare the two runs of the benchmark test on the left and the two runs of the AI power test on the right we can again see that they both have average close to zero and the same limit of agreement but one thing to consider is that we are removing some data point from the plot on the left because of high ASR error. In the end our study showed that the developed software is working correctly and a test with high quality ASR and TETS can achieve results similar to the benchmark test. Thank you very much.